Can you hear the music? The banquet has started. I should be dancing up there on the marble floors instead of trapsing, oh, trapsing down here in knee-high water. You wanted to stuff your mouth? No? Then shut up. Here, take this map. There is only one... Uh, this, there, is, this, there, there is only this one entrance and this is the key for you. I don't know why I had so much trouble reading that. But we'll keep it with us, so make sure to return right here once you have the gem. It's the only exit. Don't get any funny ideas. Which is why we'll close the gate right after you're inside. Without us, you won't get out. Thank you very much for your trust. Now hurry up. Will we ever see her again? Probably not, but you never know. As they say, our success rate is rather high. Anyway, I'm closing the gate now. What? What? The key? Where is... No way, she stole it. But when? Miserable brat. Shall we go after her? No, we just wait. This is the only exit anyway. They don't know me very well if I think that's the sea where it's the worst thing I've ever crawled through. Very well everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Chained Echoes. Last time we got to know a couple new characters. Uh, Victor and uh, Sienna right here. And Sienna is, now that we actually will get into fights, she is a DPS. She, she is a glass cannon and she will do... She essentially works on critical damage. She can also be built as an evade tank, but I don't really like doing that, but that's more of a late game strat you can use. For right now, she has Yoko's ear that deals damage to everyone and can trigger Petal Storm, which is this skill right here, that deals three times damage, but needs to be activated by other skills. So you need to proc it by using certain other skills she has. We're learning that because that's sort of central to her moveset. We're also gonna learn X Slash, with the extra um, thing I have. I could go for crit up, which is pretty good for her, since she's all about critical hits. Alright, that's one way to build her. But, x Slash is a debuff, inflicts bleed, which is essentially another kind of poison, and so damage over time, and can also trigger Petal Storm, which is nice. And we can't really do much other than that, unfortunately. Uh, Equipment-wise, we could steal one of these. Uh, we'll grab the Sweet Sandals from Rob for now. Assembles, we have nothing, and we have nothing over here as well, right? Nope. So we're good. We're gonna play a Sienna for a little bit. And we can see how she fares in combat, but again, she is just a damage dealer. So, when single targets, I will probably just axe She also has Pilfer, and Pilfer is the steal move. Pedalstone has been procced, so we can just pop that and deal a lot of damage. You have to remember to use it though, if you don't use it, you will lose it, and next turn, it will be grayed out. Uh, okay... Um, yeah, we'll have to try to steal as well, to see, uh, so to show off how it is. Steel is actually, it's not super powerful in this game, you can't really, I mean, you can get some good stuff by stealing, but... Can I steal from this guy? No, I can't. Um, sometimes you can get some good stuff, but mostly... You get some materials, but uh, you know the, the steel is like an eighty percent chance, so it's pretty high. Uh, this time I'm gonna just basic attack, boom. And the steel goes to ninety percent chance if you upgrade it to hundred percent chance if you upgrade it to level three. Oh, I missed it. Oh no, I didn't miss it. Cool. I wanted to see if there was more. Oh, there, oh, there was. It just didn't press up. It was. Trying to get a bit more comfortable in my chair. I missed my chance. Oh well. Stuff that happens. Also, these... These things are somewhat glitchy. I remember when I first played it. When I first played this game, I was messing around this. And when I was passing under one of these bridges, I was able to, like... Not this one. Uh, there's a bridge over here. Oh, no, shoot, I missed it. <laughs> uh, when I was passing under one of these bridges, I somehow walked up there and then I became invisible it was a weird glitch it didn't really break the game though I sold it by just going on to another one I never been able to replicate it though which is weird I might have patched it I don't know 
Well, I still have one path here to go. What is this? Something's coming. A kraken? In the sewers? You must be hungry for something big. I hope you don't choke. What the? Fresh air at last. You say that in a sewer. Anything's better than octopus innards. I don't want to interrupt you, but you're not off the menu yet. Ride the toothpick, Glenn. Yes. It, it escaped. I hope he won't return. And now we get introduced to Glenn, born in the walled city of Golgotha. When he was 12, he was freed by the band of the Iron Bull, a group of mercenaries. Having nowhere to go, he joined the group and discovered his love for everything technical. With his talent, he became the mercenary's top sky armor pilot in no time. Since the incident a year ago, he has been trying to find clues about the mysterious stone that caused it. What the heck were you two doing inside this monster? Well, we were having a casual walk through the sewers when suddenly this kraken appeared and swallowed us. Second hand to the commander of the band of the Iron Bull, he joined the mercenaries not because of necessity, but more so with ambitious goals in mind. He wants the group to grow in fame and power so one day he could stand next to the strongest armies of Eldria. With it, he wishes to make the world a better place. Casual walk? Why are you two up to in this place? Probably the same as you, I guess. Me? Oh, so you're inspecting the load bearing of these walls? Haha, <laughs> you're going to sneak into the palace, aren't you? The banquet is a good opportunity. Are you after the treasury? Who knows? This old wall certainly needs to be inspected. We also want something from the palace, but nothing from the treasury. How about an alliance? Until we get through the sewers. What? You think that's wise? We don't know where. Exactly. Why should I trust you? Trust in the fact that we have kept you alive so far. There are two of us, remember that. And you trust me? I trust you smart enough to not mess with two mercenaries. Hmm. If a giant octopus greets us at the entrance, I do not want to know what's lurking deeper in the sewers. I agree to your suggestion. Excellent. My name is Kalyan, and this is... No, no. I need your swords, not your names. Let us go, my dears. I'm keeping an eye on you. You're not the first man to say that. This will be fun. And we have Glenn and Kalyan back in the team. Nice. Yeah, that, I love that banter. I love it. Just good. But I disagree with Sienna on one thing, though. You do need their names. In battle, it's important to know each other's names. You know? Helps uh, helps with the synergy and stuff. So, Kylian, we have leg aim we could learn. Lower target agility, that's pretty good. Recall training regenerates TP with every hit for 5 turns. Uh, this can actually be pretty nice. Definitely gonna get leg aim. I could grab attack up too. Hmm. We don't have a buff skill. I'm gonna grab recall training just because we don't have a buff skill. And if we get um, an overdrive, the buff uh, buff overdrive uh, icon, now at least we have something, someone that has that uh, that skill type. You need to be aware of this, having like a variety of skills ready to go if you want to lower overdrive as well. That's a strategy you will use. Uh, oil slash. Okay, I have in my notes. Do not learn this right now. Restores DPs to 1. That can be useful. I could get HP. Agility, defense. Agility is great because it allows you to get more no, turns. Well, it allows you the higher agility the more often you get turns. Poison resist. I don't know. Human killer could be interesting as well. These two. I could go for these two. I'm not sure about learning land energy quite yet. Is, would that be useful though? Not quite. I feel like I'm gonna go with these two. Get a couple passives. Get more stats as well. Nice. Right, those should be already set. Yeah, fire is be up human killer. Alright. Yeah, I think we're fine. Uh, we can. Alright, we could grab. A medallion, but nobody here uses magic, so that magic plus two would be kind of useless. I'll leave it on land for now. What do we have over here? Magic overdrive. So th that is part of a series of items. There are like magic overdrive, 
buff overdrive, debuff overdrive, utility overdrive. They're essentially items that allow you to trigger the overdrive skills in case you don't have it. In case you're like, uh, none of my characters have that skill, I can't wait for the, you know, for the character to come up, the turn to come up, I just need to do it now, I just pop one item. So that can be useful. Uh, let's see this, we haven't seen it. Glenn can go for a cross slash on. I can steal from these guys. I'm gonna go for the bat. And the white swing. That should get rid of the bat. Nice. At least now we have a healer in Kalyan. You can do some stuff there. Oh, uh, with Pedal Stone, be a waste not to use it. Big damage. And cross slash get rid gets rid of this guy. Hopefully, I'll be able to steal from you. Let's do a basic attack here. Why not? All right, pilfer. Can I steal? Tinor. That's how stealing works. Just like that. Nothing too fancy. Okay, Santa's like six HP. But this guy's almost dead, so we're fine. All right, moving on. Uh, yeah, this leads somewhere. Hold off on that. And this gives me antidote times two. There's a merchant down here. And I believe left this progress. I'll see what that thing leads me though. Where do you lead? Let's see if I can trigger that glitch again. Over here for a chest. More materials? Like, I think it was that braze right there. I was just passing under it and somehow my card disappeared. And started walking on top of it. And then I just walked from the braze on the thing again. Start the Ekaton, that's an armor. Uh, you cannot wear that. You can only wear clothes, Sienna, but you guys can definitely wear that. Hmm, defense, mind, and HP. Do you want more HP, Kalyan? Yeah, why not? Let's give it to Kalyan for now. Fortunately, that was guarded by these guys. Um, we'll begin with the next slash this time. I don't know if I want to steal Tino for the, from them. It's not terribly useful. But, I mean, sure. If I get the chance, I'll do it. If this guy doesn't die now, good. Yeah. You know. Ah, uh, but I have Pedal Storm. Let's use it on the other one. It'd be a waste not to use it. Uh, White Swing again. Boom. Oh, you're healing now. Okay. It's not gonna help, sir. Because Glenn is too powerful. Now, do I need the, the quest, an active quest? Not now. People here? What am I doing here? Well, how about I just don't ask any question and you don't either? Instead, take a look at my wares. And we got some normal stuff like healing items, status removal items, not much. We could sell loot, actually. Yeah, we'll sell everything. Why not? There we go. Make some money. I don't even need to buy anything. So we're good. Another fight. Yeah, sure. Yokoziri. Ooh, critical. Nice. Hey, go Pedal Storm. Hey, agility buff. Look at that. I'm gonna cross slash the sewer driver and do a wide swing. Is that? Uh, that's not gonna kill the bats. I, I don't think it will. No. I was hoping. Well, Yoko G will do it, although I have Pedal Storm. Yeah, we'll do it, even though it puts me out of overdrive because it'd be a waste otherwise. There it is. And when Scallion gets the turn, or I guess when Sienna gets the turn, we'll just kill all of them. Easy. Alright, what do we have here? Sweets and buff overdrive. There's no turning back for. Okay, this is essentially the game telling you if you go that way, be careful. Save over here, and we're gonna move on. A dead end. 
According to my map, the exit should be at the end of this waterway. But how do we get there? The current is going that direction. We could use the wooden plank down there. Oh dear, this is going to be fun. Seems like it's working. Now, isn't this romantic? Oh, please stop. It's already hard enough not to vomit from all the smell. What is this? Looks like we have company. The Kraken again? What's wrong with this thing? Did it wait for us to get into the water? Whatever it is, it's not going to leave us alone this time. Engage! The engage thing is actually just attack, I think, in the... In the German... In the German localization... Not in localization, I mean, this game was written in German. I think in the original German text it's just attack, because it says ang angriff, which is attack, right? So it just says attack. Even when a battle starts, it says engage here, it just says attack in German, which is... I thought I thought mentioned that. Uh, can I steal from any of these parts? Yes, I can steal from that. So I should probably try. Did I get it? Yes, copper nugget. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, God. Oh, we're gonna have definitely gonna use Glenn's ultra move, I think, because Glenn ultra move is one of the strongest ones in the game. The f lower defense and mind. Okay, so we do have three parts of this Kraken. Healing tentacle, physical tentacle, magical tentacle. So obviously, what they do, magical damage, physical damage, and heal. That's all they do. I believe the magical damage is also an area of effect. I will go for the healing tentacle first. Because obviously we want to get rid of the heals. No, it's not area of effect, thank god. Okay, you heal those that are full health. Do that, it's fine. I want to do a self buff. Yes, sure. I can help my TP. Okay, we're fine now. I'm gonna X slash the healing tentacle. Put some damage over time on that. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're fine. Now let's start dealing some damage here. Tentacle heal, okay, you just sure you heal off, it's fine. And I believe he, he had just wide swing it. Boom. And we want to do another X slash. I mean, I could Yoko Ziri and damage everything. Then he gets two actions and I'm dangerously close to overheat. But Glenn's coming up. And I probably want to use his super. Or ultra, rather. It's called ultra. I have Petal Storm as well. Alright, yes. So. Glenn's Ultra deals physical damage to ev all enemies, reduces attack, magic, defense, and mind. So lowers all stats as well. Very, very useful. So not only you deal damage, but you mostly do it for the debuff. Because then for a while, you take a lot less damage and you do more damage. It's very good. See, 9 damage. It's crazy. And sure, we'll keep doing that. I could just helping hand though. Yeah, no, let's do that. Let's do helping hand. Seal Sienna and lower the overdrive as well. Pedal Storm on the healing tentacle. Take it out, please. Not quite. Alright, we're doing fine now. Uh, please, Glenn. There you go. Uh, let's slide lower that overdrive. I think I want to go for the magical tentacle next. And then we'll go to physical. I'm not sure. There's a version of this boss later on that gets buffed up if you kill the things one by one. Yes, this one does it as well. Now that becomes area of effect and... That gets an attack buff. Which is a little annoying. Glenn, if you do anything, you're going to overdrive. I'm gonna block with you right now. And go for an X slash... Try to kill the magical tentacle as quickly as possible. And lower that overdrive. Who needs healing the most here? I'm gonna heal Kalyan, why not? Heal yourself. Ow. Should have healed Sienna. That's dead by poison. Good. Armor break. We need the buff to lower my overdrive. It's fine. Kalyan can do it. Although, Sienna can take another hit. It's fine. You bleed, you recall training, lower me over my overdrive. And let's keep that under control, we're doing well so far. And... And sure, why not? 
I was hoping to get a Petal Storm. I'm sure we can do a Cross Slash. And helping out Don Siena. We'll also run out of TPs completely. That's annoying. Stick the physical attacks. Normal basic attacks. And I think with this Cross Slash, we have done it. That was intense. Now let's get out of here. Finally, the open sky. Where are we? According to the map, this is the southeastern courtyard. The treasure chamber is in the south. I guess this is where we part ways. I'm sorry I was all suspicious earlier. Well, it's a wise attitude to have. You shouldn't drop it. A fire? Oh great, the rumors have come true. The townsfolk actually started a riot. A riot? Against what? They don't want Scania's Chancellor to trust Tarin. Rumor has it that Prince Frederick of Tarin only instigated the peace treaty in order to recover from the damage caused by the Grimoire. Once Tarin has regained the strength, the war will continue. Grimoire? We should hurry. May the light of fate guide your path. I wish you the same. 